Uh, when I first purchased this vehicle about five months ago, um, they just gave me the keys and, you know, I just jumped in and dro drove. So it's a whole lot different than driving a Tesla versus a gas combustion engine. Welcome to Padu Motivations. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to drive a Tesla Model 3. Actually, it'll be a Model 3 or a Model Y. So, uh, when I first purchased this vehicle about five months ago, um, they just gave me the keys and you know I just jumped in and dro drove. So, it's a whole lot different than driving a Tesla versus a gas combustion engine. Um, if, you don't, if you've never driven a Tesla, it's not like you can just jump in and drive it um, at least it is safely at least so um this video i think is going to really help you and to be honest i wish i had a video just like this just before i actually took delivery of my car so um we're going to show you how to start it how to lock it a lot of the controls that are totally different in a tesla than a gas combustion engine also i would highly recommend you just take it if you're thinking about purchasing a tesla um, to go to the referral link and use my uh, referral link, it's in the descriptions, to do a test drive. And I think that's the best way to decide whether or not you want to buy a Tesla or any electric vehicle for that matter. So let's get started. Okay, well, there's two ways to open your Tesla. And they're going to give you a key. When you first purchase the vehicle, they'll give you a key like this. And you're going to use this to open your car. Once you get everything set up, you won't even need a key. You'll uh, download the app on your, uh, on your phone, and all you're gonna have to do is just go right up to the car and it's gonna open by itself. But I'm gonna show you this first. So to open up the, to open up the vehicle, right, right by the, um, uh, right by the uh, camera, all you're gonna do is I'm gonna wand this right over the camera and you're gonna see the doors unlock. okay? That's how you know the doors unlock. okay? Now, to get into the vehicle, unlike any other vehicle, remember, everything is so flush right here. Like, how do I, this, how do I open this car? So what you want to do is take your thumb, you just want to push it in and open it. That's it. Boom. Open it. That's it. And then you're getting in the car. Okay. Now, once you're inside the Tesla, what you're going to do is take your key card and you're just going to rest it right here. Okay. And that's going to get everything going, all right? All I'm going to do now, there's no, you know, there's no gear shift here. There's no, you know, I can't turn it or whatever. So, hey, how do I start the car? How you start the car is what you're going to do is just put your foot on the brake. And you can see that's going to activate everything right here, okay? And that's basically it. Now you're ready to go. But. What I'm going to show you in a second is I'm going to show you how to get into the vehicle without the key card. I would recommend you just keep this. I usually keep this key card right in my wallet. So let me show you the other way how to uh, start and open your Tesla. Okay. Another way to get into your vehicle is you're going to have your Tesla app right here and you just enable the Bluetooth. Now you don't even need a key card at all. You can just have your phone in your pocket, walk up to the vehicle and open the door then I'm all set. And then when you leave, you shut it. And when I walk away, it's going to lock itself. So I'm walking away. There we go. Now we are in the vehicle. Okay, how do I start it? How do I, uh, I just show you how to start it, but how to adjust the mirrors, how to adjust the uh, steering wheel. These are things you're going to need to uh, adjust before you even start driving. So you'll be driving the car safely. So all you want to do is go to your car icon. And right now, what we want to do is you have your mirrors and your steering. Okay, so let's do start with the mirrors first. That's the first thing you want to do to drive safely okay and you can right now i'm going to adjust the left mirror and all you want to use is your as you want to use your left scroll bar 
And as you can see, the mirror is actually moving, okay? And I could adjust it any way I want. And of course, I could do the same for the right. No sense doing that, but you could use either way, okay? And you can save it. So every time you get into your vehicle, now it's gonna be, that's your profile. You're gonna be, you're gonna be uh, saving your profile, okay? Now, let's do the steering. Steering is kind of cool too because um, you can pull your, to pull the steering out, all you want to do is your left toggle right here and the steering wheel comes out. And it comes out pretty far too. And then go back in, you just, you just do the scroll bar to the right to go back in. And then you could adjust it down, see? And you could adjust it up. So you want to do it obviously, you know, whatever, whatever works best for you. Okay, so you have that. The uh, then what you want to do is you want to go to your lights. Okay, I use the. You can just put it on just like that. I usually keep mine on automatic. This way, um, it comes on at night and it shuts off in the day. And and I also have my auto high beams on as well. This way, I don't have to start messing around with the high beams at all. Okay. The next thing we want to talk about is the windshield wipers because, you know, you want to be able to get in your car and, you know, when it starns raining, you don't want to be fumbling around, man, how do I turn the, how do I turn the, uh, how do I turn the wipers off? It's real simple. The left uh, gear stock right here, you just press this in. There's a few ways to do it. I'm going to make it simple today. You just want to go like that. Well, that actually sucks. But you can do your wipers like this and on different speeds. Or you could do it automatic, um, and then it'll come on when you're uh, when it starts raining. Okay, and that's basically um, how you do that. So now you are all ready to drive. Okay, <laughs> again, there's no gear shift here or not. So what you want to do is you want to put your foot on the brake, and you want to put your gear stock down once. Mm -hmm. And now you're ready to drive. And it looks like I need windshield washer fluid is low. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is now I'm ready to take off and I'm going to drive. And with a Tesla, you don't, the beauty of it, you don't even hear anything. It's not like a gas combustion vehicle where you, you hear engine racing. You don't really hear anything at all. I mean, it's, it's almost kind of surreal. So now I'm driving, okay, and okay, I'm just gonna pull over here. Okay, so, all right, so to stop, the only thing you need to do is let your foot up off the gas to stop which is really cool. It takes a while to get used to regenerative braking. I'm going to talk about that in a minute. But you see, I'm getting close to the curb. And it, this is pretty accurate. I'm about 24 inches. I'm going to get a little closer. Okay, 23. And it actually warned you. So now, okay, so now I'm stopping. To put the vehicle in park, which you're going to have to know, all you do is press this button once. Okay. If you was on a hill, what you want to do, the emergency brake. There's no emergency brake. How do I put that on? Well, it's pretty easy. All you want to do is hold this down for a couple of seconds. And when you see that park right here, now you know the emergency brake is on. Okay. I know when I first when I first test drove the Tesla, the guy went over all this so quick, and I was like, how do you go in reverse? How do you do that? But anyway, all you want to do to, to go into the revert to go into reverse, you only want to, you put your foot on the brake and you're just going to go up one. I'm sorry, go up two. And then that's reverse. Okay. Down is down is drive and a half a click is neutral. See, that's the half a click is neutral right there. But now I'm going to just go into the reverse. Okay. And you have your rear view cameras there, which is kind of cool. So all I'm going to do is back up now. And all you hear is a little humming sound. That's all you hear in a, an electric car, at least a Tesla anyway. 
So now I'm going to go right into drive and I'm going to drive. Okay. And by the way, with the Tesla, if you're going under five miles an hour, you do not have to step on the brakes at all. Like in most uh, gas combustion engine vehicles, you got to, you know, put your, otherwise you'll ruin the transmission. So I'm going to demonstrate. So right now I'm going to drive. Okay. I'm going to stop. And now I'm going to go right into reverse. Now I'm going to go into drive. Boom. I'm not putting my foot on the brake or anything, which is really convenient. I really like that uh, feature of the Tesla. And by the way, this these things I'm showing you is for the Tesla Model 3 or Model Y. Okay. So put it in park. Now. When you're ready to open the when you're ready to uh, open the door, let's show you how to open the door. Okay. Okay. How do I open the door? There's nothing here. This, you know, most most uh, cars is a lever or something, and then you got to figure all that out. Well, to open the vehicle, all you want to do is press this right here, and that opens up your vehicle. Okay. Also, you can also do it manually. It's not recommended to do it manually because with the Tesla, it'll ruin the, the door trim. And to open it manually, you need to just roll the window down just a little bit. And then this is, a man, this is the manual uh, lever right here. And you just open it up like that. Okay. See, and they say manual door releases used may cause damage to the window trim. All right. And I really go into that deep in some of my other videos. So you can uh, uh, look at that. Also, by the way, like and subscribe, because I'm going to really be showing you some really good information, especially for those who are um, thinking about buying a Tesla or who just purchased a Tesla and really don't know all the ins and outs and know the options and all the bells and whistles and tips and tricks. OK, so that's uh, that's a good point. I just wanted to make that also. Also, I'm going to show you another thing with a Tesla. So again, I'm going to put it in drive. I'm going to put, I'm just going to go right here and I'm going to drive. Okay. Now, then I'm letting my foot up off the, off the, uh, off the gas. And when you let your foot up off the gas, the car automatically just stops. Okay. Now it's in drive. What happens if I was just open the door? Okay. I can open the door right now without doing anything here. As you can see, my feet are... All I got to do is open the door. And once I open the door, it goes right to par. So that's that's really cool. I mean, I normally put my foot on the brake and then put it in park, though. So uh, now I'm going to drive. Now I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the regenerative braking. Okay, before we get into regenerative braking, I do want to show you with Tesla... Tesla has about eight cameras all around here, but what we're going to talk about today, you go to my other videos to get a real tutorial on it, but we're going to look at the blind spot cameras. There's one on this side and one on, on the other side. Oh, by the way, we're at the uh, Cincinnati Reds. Uh, I think there's the minor league here in, uh, in, in Goodyear, Arizona. It's a beautiful ballpark. If, uh, if you ever get a chance to come down here and see it, it's really cool. But anyway, let's show you the regenerative braking. Okay. Now, Another thing, you have to use your blinkers, okay? So you're going to use the left drive stock here, just like any other vehicle right here. If you go down one hard turn, uh, it's going to go down one hard turn. It's going to ask the left blinker, of course, the right hard, up right. That's the right blinker. Now, in, if you just are switching lanes, um, then you just do it nice and soft one time. And your blinkers are going to blink three times. Okay. Uh, at least it normally does that. Okay, that's three. Okay, so now we're ready to go. So I'm going to put it. In, it's already in drive, and I'm all. All I'm going to with a Tesla. All you're going to be using is one pedal, and that's the gas. That's all you're going to be using. And the only time you really use your brakes is um, really maybe putting it in park or or if it's an object in the middle of the road, you have to slam on the brakes. Other than that, right now, I'm going to just take my foot up off the gas and the regenerative braking is going to come into play. And I'm going to show you that again. So just right now, make a right hand turn. Okay. And 
then I'm driving. Okay. And right now I'm just using one pedal. I'll speed it up a little bit. The speed on here is unbelievable. Right now I'm going to take my foot up off the gas and I'm not putting my foot on the brake. You guys, you see, I'm coming up to a light. I'm going to take my foot up off the gas and see this green little arrow. That means regenerative braking is in effect, which, which means to you is that the car uh, is slow. The motor is slowing down. And when the motor slows down on its own, it's putting uh, uh, life back into your battery or it's charging your battery, which extends your range. So, so I'm going to go up a little closer to this car here and regenerative braking is in effect. I'm going to make a right hand turn. Okay, so it's pretty cool. Make it and then will you I'm gonna push this stock down just one time lightly and it's gonna just do it three times and then bam. Okay. Okay, now let's check out the regenerative braking. Okay, right now I just have my foot on the gas right now, and I'm gonna speed it up a little bit, and then if I let my foot up off the gas. It automatically, you see it slowing down. That's it. I don't even have my foot on the gas, all right? So I'm going to speed up a little bit. And as I mentioned before, once you slow down, um, the regenerative braking brings power back or energy back to the battery like it is now. I just took my foot up off the gas. Now it's giving, giving it some energy, which is really cool. Uh, sometimes if you're going down a really big hill or something, it doesn't happen very much, but you're actually going to get more energy uh, to your battery as you're going down. Here's how you tell how much battery life you have. Right now, I'm at 94% right here. And if you hit the 94%, I have about five, uh, excuse me, 253 miles uh, of range, which is totally adequate. Okay. And then now what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you something else. We're gonna, I'm gonna engage the autopilot, all right? And all you're gonna do is press it down twice. Um, I have full service autopilot, those of you, and that's extra. Um, I just got a, a trial thing for it, but a lot of you won't have that. So I'm gonna engage the, uh, uh, the, the full service uh, autopilot so you can see that. Okay. Right now, I'm going to engage autopilot, or some of you who, when you first buy it, it's going to be auto steer. All you want to do is press this down twice. Now it's all set. It's ready to go. I'm not doing anything. Look, the car is just driving itself, <laughs> which is cool. See? And it's making, like, like this guy just cut in front of me, no blinkers or whatever. And now he's stopping, and the car vehicle is stopping. So it's all, I'm, I don't, I'm not doing anything. And now it's approaching the light as we can see. And let's see how it works. And okay, so it's just going to, it's just going to slow up and stop by itself. That's a really good function as well. It's actually a pretty, I love using it. So uh, that's it. Now, also one other thing. Um, if I was making a, I'm going to disengage the autopilot. All you do is just uh, put your foot on the brake or if you ever move um, the steering wheel, that disengages it. If I'm making a right turn, as I showed you before, those lights, those blind spots would be there. If I'm making a left, it'd be there as well. Okay. Well, there you have it. Now you have the basics to drive a Tesla Model 3 or really any type of Tesla for that matter. Uh, please like and subscribe. We got some really nice stuff coming for you and uh, we'll see you at the next video.